France is one of the few countries that even has a real aircraft carrier, but it's a bit of an odd one out since it only has one, the Charles de Gaulle. While other major navies, like the US Navy, have a whole fleet of them, France decided to stick with a single super powerful ship. It's not because they're weak though, it's a smart decision based on money, their specific defense strategy, and some political stuff. Basically, they're trying to find that sweet spot between being a major player and being practical. The biggest reason for this one carrier policy is the crazy high cost. Building a modern aircraft carrier costs billions of euros, and that's just the start. The Charles de Gaulle was a huge investment, but the real expenses are the day-to-day -day costs. You have to pay for all the other ships, submarines, and planes that go with it, not to mention the fuel, maintenance, and crew. Since France's defense budget is way smaller than America's, building a second carrier would mean cutting funding for other important things, like their nuclear fleet or fighter jet programs. They just can't afford to have two. France's military also has a unique plan. They're a nuclear power, and their main focus is their independent nuclear deterrent, the Force de Frappe. This means they don't really need a giant fleet for global power projection like some other countries. Instead, their single carrier is used for specific missions, like protecting their territories overseas or helping out the Allies. This single carrier also highlights how France works with its friends. Because the ship needs time for maintenance, there are periods when the French Navy doesn't have a carrier ready to go. But that's okay. France works closely with its allies, especially the US and the UK, to fill in the gaps. The Charles de Gaulle is the only non-US carrier to use the same kind of catapult system, which makes it easy for them to work together. This shared technology and strategy means France's one carrier can basically act as part of a much bigger international fleet whenever they need it to. So, in the end, France's choice to have only one aircraft carrier is a pretty complicated issue with a few different reasons. It's a direct result of the huge costs, a defense plan that focuses on their nuclear power, and the smart decision to rely on their allies.